Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a glow in the dark glittery leopard print cell phone stand. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using these glow in the dark glitters from Let's Resin. They come in this pack of 12. There's a lot of different colors in this set and they all glow in the dark really nicely. I'm going to be using this purple, light blue, and hot pink today. I'm going to be using six ounces of resin and I'm using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. I did go ahead and mix up my resin off camera just to save time, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin, definitely check out my Milky Way coaster tutorial. I'll link it down below in the description box. I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin. And I'll be sure to link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box along with these glow-in-the-dark glitters and my coupon code. So if you guys want to get them to try out, um, you'll get a little bit of extra savings. They glow in the dark so nicely. Um, you'll see that here in a few minutes at the end of the video. I'll show you how well they glow. I'm just going in and filling up my mold. I'm trying to add the purple and the blue and the pink, um, not right next to each other, just trying to switch up where I'm going to place the colors down. Um, super simple and easy to do. Um, you, like I said, I did mix up six ounces of resin. That seemed to be the perfect amount um, for this mold and you can get this mold off Amazon. I'll link it down below as well. You want to make sure you do not overfill this mold. Um, so you want to be really careful when you're using it, especially that little bottom piece on the right hand side. If you overfill it, then your piece isn't going to fit together properly and it can be kind of a pain to fix. So you just want to make sure you don't overfill it. I'm going to hit it with my heat gun on low to pop bubbles and then I'm going to let it dry and we'll be ready to demold it. And here we are the next day ready to demold it. I was so excited to see how this was going to look because I had never used these glitters before and they're really sparkly and beautiful and they also glow in the dark super well. I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. The glow, the way they glow is just awesome. They work really, really nicely. So I'm going to link these down below along with my coupon code if you guys want to get the pack of 12 different colors. Um, and I am going to attach some leopard print uh, permanent vinyl decals to this and I'm going to be placing these vinyl decals by hand on the cell phone stand. Um, you can go the transfer tape route if you want to. I actually made a set of holographic leopard print coasters previously on my channel and I did use the transfer tape method on that set of coasters. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. I'll link it down below. But for this, I wanted to kind of place these by hand and not use transfer tape. And you can get these vinyl decals off Etsy. If you just go on Etsy and type in, um, you know, leopard print or cheetah print, permanent vinyl decals. A whole bunch of different sellers will pop up. A lot of um, different sellers on Etsy have these available for purchase. Um, for this project, I just wanted to place these down by hand. And if um, you're having a hard time kind of getting the vinyl off of this backing, just kind of roll it. Um, I like to think of like a taco when I'm having a hard time, just kind of roll it into an upside down U shape and then it will come right off. Sometimes you can try to peel it up from the corner and it doesn't want to come up in one spot. So just kind of pick up your paper, turn it into an upside down U shape, and then you'll be able to slide it off in a different location. And I have had some people tell me that they don't like this particular mold because their cell phone stands end up bendy. I personally haven't had that problem. Um, so a few tips if you are having a problem with this cell phone stand, make sure that your workspace is 100% level before you pour. You want to make sure that it's completely level so that way you're getting um, the same depth of a pour throughout the entire mold because this is a thinner mold so I can see how some people may be having that problem with it being bendy and then also, you know, of course, make sure your resin is 
100% mixed. Make sure that your ratio is 100% spot on if you're using a one-to-one -one resin. And if you're, you know, still struggling with this, what you could even do is after you demold your piece, if it's still bendy, flip it over and just put some clear resin on the back and that will strengthen both pieces and then you won't have to worry about it being bendy at all. And here's how it looks um, just all put together and this is what it looks like glowing in the dark. Super fun. These glitters glow so well in the dark. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave me a like. Hit that thumbs up button. I hope you guys give this a try. I will link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. So if you guys want to get any of these products, you can get a little bit of extra savings. Let me know what you guys think and if you have any questions down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. Helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back but thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you're all doing fantastic and i will see you guys soon for another video bye guys